Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So um, today I am going to be decluttering under the sink. So um, if you've got an under the sink cupboard or wherever basically you keep all your cleaning products, your washing up liquid, all that kind of thing. Um, so ours has gotten to be quite a mess because we've just shoved things in. Um, so I've gone to B&M and I've bought some caddies um, and a few other bits and I am going to do a mass organization of the under the sink. Um, so I hope this helps you um, organize um, your under the sink areas as well. So this is the cupboard as it stands at the moment. Um, as you can see, we have just shoved things in. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to how this cupboard works. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out, um, give it a good wipe down, um, and then um, start to organize everything to put it back in. So these are a couple of spray bottles that I bought on Amazon to make our own cleaner. Um, and these are the caddies that I was talking about that I bought from B&M as well.
I'm just going to talk through um, the different caddies that I've put together during the organisation so you can see how I've grouped together certain items and how I'm going to put them back in. Um, so the first caddy um, has just got these two things in it for now. This is the laundry caddy. Um, so you probably saw my fabric softener um, is huge. <laughs> it's massive and um, it doesn't actually fit in this caddy. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is actually get a smaller version that fits in here for next time once that's finished. Um, and all I'll have in here is this um, fairy detergent. Um, I've got the nappy sand for stains and getting things out of baby clothes, that kind of thing. Um, and then the fabric softener will go in the middle when I've got one that is small enough. Um, but that's the laundry caddy, nice and simple. Um, you probably saw I put together these sponges, so I have lots and lots of sponges because I bought them in bulk on Amazon this time. Um, so I thought this would be a good way to store the sponges and usually they come in a pack of around that many anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a nice little caddy that kind of fit perfectly for the sponges. You then probably saw that I had these um, dishwasher tablets that my lovely toddler Amia was helping me to organize um, so we've put quite a few in there um, and then the spare ones are just going to be um, stored either in that corner cupboard or in the back of this cupboard um, but yeah that's the dishwasher tablets sticking to dishwashing as well we've got this kind of I guess sink I want to call it the sink caddy um, because it has got um, sort of dishwasher um, so dishwasher rinse aid we've got um, dishwasher salt here in this little jar at the front as well um, we've got the rubber gloves um, for washing dishes of course and then these two are used to clean the sink mainly so um, this is called barkeeper's friend power cream and we've got a white ceramic sink um, so this works really well um, on that um, and then we've got Zaflora as well um, I tend to use this now also in my spray mop from time to time as well um, but the main use for it is actually we just fill it fill a cap full um, and put it in the sink with some boiling water to disinfect the sink so um, I thought that went well in this kind of sink caddy <clears throat> then I've got the cleaning cloths all here um, in this caddy here um, so yeah so cleaning cloths um, and I also usually had the um, the kind of gray cleaning sponge that I use for the sink as well in here as well uh, but we did use it recently so it's up there again um, but yeah I thought just stacking the cleaning cloths sort of like that in there is is a nice way to be able to reach for them and finally, we have got the general cleaning caddy. Um, so this has got everything we need for sort of general cleaning around the house. Um, I will have um, something similar for upstairs for the bathroom as well, um, but this is basically for the downstairs area. So this is the vinegar and water solution I made up earlier. Um, one thing I have found actually as well, just adding a capful of the flora into that just makes it smell so much nicer because I don't really love the smell of vinegar everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's our cleaning solution that we've made ourselves. Um, I've then got the um, floor cleaner here as well. This is like a pet uh, flash floor cleaner. But as I said, I think once I finish that, um, I probably won't buy another one. I'll just use the flora instead because that's working really well. Um, in the back here, I've got a glass cleaner. Um, I've then got the stainless steel um, cleaner here as well, um, which is for our hob. Um, and finally, I've got this kind of pet for breeze just to spray down the um, sofas and that kind of thing because we have got three cats. Um, and finally, just in the middle here is um, baking soda, um, which is obviously very, very handy um, when you've ever got any kind of cleaning to do as well. So yeah, vinegar solution, baking soda, floor cleaner, glass cleaner, the hob cleaner, stainless steel and Febreze and, and that's it and that's that's all we really need. So that is the cleaning caddy. And that's it. Those are all my caddies. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put them back um, in the sink area in sort of an organised way.
So I've realized that there is a space towards the back here where we can actually fit the remaining dishwasher tablets. So that's what I'm doing here. So here is the finished organized space. Um, so I did just remove the fabric softener for now because it is so massive that it just gets in the way of everything else um, so that I could just talk you through what's in here. So right in the far back there um, to the left is the spare dishwasher tablets um, just because they fit there. Um, so that's where we put them there. Um, as you can see, you can sort of see just right to the far right back there are the sponges um, because again, like we're not going to switch them out that often. So this where they are right at the back um, and then we've got the kind of the sink caddy which what I described to you earlier um, and then in the front here we've got the cleaning cloths and the dishwasher tablets because we use them every single day um, and then again we've got the cleaning caddy uh, just in front of the dishwasher tablets here um, and then the laundry caddy at the front here with the space for the fabric conditioner <laughs> hopefully a small size one that will fit there um, but yeah as you can see it's just looking so much more organized um, you know we can reach for the things that we want to we know where everything is um, and the best thing is you know if we are cleaning you can just pull out the caddy you don't have to keep reaching back in the cupboard for each individual item you can just get the caddy out completely um, and just go ahead and you can carry it around the house with you if you wanted to as well uh, I know some people get ones with handles but I just wanted everything here to match so um, I thought this was uh, quite a nice setup so that was um, everything organized into sections um, and into sort of the correct areas and I talked you through all of it. Um, also when putting everything back, I made sure that um, it was kind of the things that I reach for day to day are towards the front and the things that we reach for maybe sort of once in a while are more towards the back. Um, we found that it's been working so much better um, since we've done it. Um, we are constantly, um, you know, we were constantly rooting around for things before, whereas now it's just really easy to find and really easy to manage. Um, so we love it. Um, I think it works really well. So uh, yeah, please do give me a thumbs up um, if you like this video. Um, please do comment below about other things that you'd like to see me organize. Um, and please do subscribe to my channel.